Right, so two Tony Award nominees and a Grammy Award winning artist are kicking off the world premiere of their new play, right here in Baltimore. An old little old charm city. Yeah. The play Oh Happy Day premieres at the Baltimore Center stage next week. And 11 News reporter Brianna Ross tells us uh, why that play may get you out of your seat and on your feet dancing. That's a great place. This is just a snippet of the music you'll hear as the play Oh Happy Day hits Baltimore Center stage. Right now, crews are setting the stage and costumes are getting their final touches as the cast prepares for what they say is much more than just a show. It's a, it's a very unique experience that you don't always get to have in the traditional American theater. We're asking you to take off your shoes and come dance with us in the aisles. Tony nominee and Forbes 30 Under 30 awardee Jordan Cooper is the writer and one of the stars in Oh Happy Day, a modern retelling of the story of Noah's Ark with a twist. But it takes place at a cookout in Mississippi, modern day. Um, and the black sheep of a family, uh, Keyshawn, who was kicked out when he was a teenager, believes that he's been told by God that he has to save his family before a flood comes. It's that storyline that caught like Tony like nominee Stevie Walker Webb's eye. He's the artistic director at Baltimore Center Stage and one of Jordan Cooper's best friends. The two work together on Cooper's Broadway yeah. show, <laughs> Ain't No Mo. Big Walker <laughs> Webb handpicked Oh Happy Day to start right here in Baltimore. I wanted to offer the Baltimore community a story that I know would just really just like rock, rock their hearts. If you're a person of faith, you're going to really love this play. If you're someone who struggles with faith, you're going to love this play. And there are themes of faith all throughout the play, but especially in the original music written by Grammy Award winning artist Donald Lawrence. And as you listen to the music and the story, Cooper hopes it tugs at your heart. So often I feel like we get so focused on the tradition of religion that we forget to see God in each other and we forget to see love in each other. And so really this play was wanting to bring those stories down to the basics and what does that look like in reality? Oh Happy Day will play here at Baltimore Center Stage from September 19th until October 13th.